the last thing that's standing between you and your activities for the afternoon, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to tell you a little story about how I got here today. (laughs) Anyone here ever have a travel mishap? You know, the missed flight connections, the delayed flights due to weather. Well, that happened to me today, or last night, actually, on my way into Florida. So almost everyone here has experienced that. took me, it was about a three-hour flight delay, and I had to research, and then I had to figure out what my options were. I had to rebook my flight, I had to figure out the travel vouchers for the airline and the meal and the hotel that I was staying at. Ended up in Dallas for three hours. Three seems to be the magic number here. And (laughs) what was the most frustrating part was that those three hours were probably the same amount of time that it took me to research and figure out how to rebook my flight, right? It was a terrible customer experience. So... What I realized was that, completely applicable today, they essentially had a gap in their overall airline and customer experience strategy, right? So this experience led to me being frustrated. It led to a terrible customer experience and planning around the data in real time for me. They were not sending me texts. They were not sending me email notifications. So it was just a real terrible gap that they had. And this, to be honest, this probably could have been avoided altogether if they had a better strategy around this. So, let's get to the point of what this has to do with marketers today. When we think about the challenges that marketers face, there's a gap that you guys are trying to figure out, that missing piece. Well, I think it's indisputable that almost every single one of you is trying to figure out how to gain real-time attribution and optimize that customer journey, right? We are all trying to do that. So looking at the facts, mobile search drives billions of calls each year, and 69% of consumers do not want to fill out a form online. They want to call you. They want their questions answered in real time. So... As of last year, BIA BIA Kelsey actually ran some numbers, and they estimated that mobile search generates 85 billion calls, and that number is going to grow to 169 by next year. We're already halfway through the year, so just imagine that. But what's more interesting is the monetary value of those calls, not just the call volume of 85 billion calls. They're also estimating that the monetary value is going to be $1 trillion. $1 trillion is going to be influenced by people calling at some stage of the path to their purchase. I'm going to let that sink in. $1 trillion influenced by phone calls. So we all know that there are different buying journeys for different product types, right? Right? Filling out my wardrobe is going to be very simple. I'm going to go online. I'm going to research it. Most likely, you're going to see that online conversion. And if your search campaigns... So for buying your first home, though, I'm going to call. I'm going to drop off of that form. In considered purchase verticals, people don't often convert online. And so my coworker actually wanted me to take this out because it looks so similar. But the difference is this lady on the right, or, yeah, you're right, um, is actually calling in. She's dropping off, right? She's trying to figure out the mortgage questions she wants answered. I wanted to leave it in because something as simple as just that, dropping off and picking up the phone, is driving revenue to your business. And if your search campaigns are driving attributable revenue and you're not optimizing to these real conversions, then you're inevitably leaving money on the table. You're leaving some of that $1 trillion sitting there. Because of inadequate campaign optimization, wasted ad spend on retargeting to current customers, and overall, in the end, you're creating a terrible customer experience. 
don't be like the airline that I flew this weekend. (laughs) And I'm not going to name the airline. (laughs) Sorry. So like I said, the simple purchases are often digital end to end. You're able to see where a conversion happens. But most often you're left guessing whether or not your online campaigns are driving those offline conversions. You want to know when I pick up the phone and actually am calling in and converting over the phone. So for the digital journey, you guys are expected to track all the way across. You're expected to know what drives that. So basically, your high-value conversions are happening over the phone, but you don't have insight into that. (coughs) Why? Do you guys have access into that? Is it a black hole? So the challenge here is that missing data leads to bad decisions. It's just a gut feeling that you have. You've invested a ton in your paid search tools, but their value ends as soon as someone picks up that phone. The end-to-end customer customer trail goes cold. So you're trying to stay ahead of a competitive marketplace, and you're missing half half of that journey. You're missing all that information to be successful. So what does this lead to? What if you could actually identify exactly what led to calls, the keywords, what's happening on those calls in real time, and then imagine if that was all digitized so you could use it right away. You could pull it into your other systems, your MarTech systems. Invoca can bridge that online and offline gap and help tell you what's going on between your paid search spend and phone calls. So this all may sound too good to be true, but it's not. If you guys are not familiar with call tracking, this is where we're going to get into the powerful stuff. First, your phone call comes in. Then a unique number is actually tied to the particular URL parameters that you want to capture in your business to, so you can understand the digital journey. Then the call is actually analyzed through AI in the platform in real time. You can set up signals to identify keywords that are said, like whether a product was mentioned, competitors were discussed, or you can even look at call outcomes. Like, was it a prospect calling, or was it a sales call? Did someone complete an application? Was a quote sent out? Then these outcomes can actually get pushed in real time to all of your bid optimization tools, to the rest of your MarTech stack. It includes Bing, Google Ads, Marin, Kenshu, even Facebook. So you can basically optimize for the outcomes that matter most to you and achieve closed-loop attribution. So let's see how some of today's leading brands, like Mutual of Omaha, University Hospitals, are actually achieving this and filling the missing piece of the paid search strategy. So university hospitals, their challenge is no attribution insight. And they are a very large hospital carrier. I don't know if you guys know who they are, but they are in based in Ohio, I believe. And they have over 200 locations, which includes hospitals, institutions, medical centers, and physicians. They're made up of over 28,000 physicians, doctors, Um, And they perform more than 10.8 million outpatient procedures each year. And they also do 142 inpatient. So as you can tell, they most likely are going to be receiving tons of calls. They're receiving over 400,000 calls a month across all of their locations. 
So they're really about patient service and that customer experience that I was talking about, very important to them. And it's not, a phone call is not just a phone call to their marketing team. It really comes down to life or death situations for them. So they really wanted to optimize and create that seamless customer journey so that if you call in and you had an issue, a health problem, you're getting served at the right time that you need it. So what did they do? Well, they basically moved away from all their manual reporting. And this was causing long delays in their optimizations since they couldn't just adjust on the fly in real time. They were also using 12 people to resource this. That was 40 hours a week, 12 people. Imagine that. It's full-time employees. And it just wasn't efficient or accurate. So what they learned, they decided to come on with Invoca and started using AI. They started to identify their call outcomes to detect either was this a billing inquiry, was it a specific health provider that they needed to get in contact with. And what they found with Signal AI is that 29% of their phone calls were going to an answering service. So that data, the patient's data, was being passed to a doctor, and the doctor's office would have to call them back. Imagine that frustrating experience. So they had about 10% of those calls actually going through and getting appointments scheduled. 10%. It's very low. So university hospitals began using these call outcomes. And with that, they were able to actually have a predictive model that was created. And it turns out that they started to go through and take that in real time and optimize it so that they were able to send that caller to the right doctor at the right moment. So now they're able to set appointments for 68% of those who call in. 10% to 68. So the results here, they, they figured something out that they had no previous insight to, right? They actually were able to increase their appointments by 580%. They saved 40 employee hours per week for 12 employees, and they were actually able to gain that insight, real-time insight. So instead of being able to say, hey, this paid search ad drove 10,000 clicks and X impressions, now they're able to say, we set 500 doctor appointments, and this is what happened on the phone call, right? It's pretty powerful. So going on to the second case study, we had Mutual of Omaha. And everyone should be familiar with Mutual of Omaha. For more than a century, they've been servicing everyone with insurance, uh, financial, and banking products. And phone calls are really, really important to Mutual of Omaha. They weren't previously tracking phone calls at all. And then they came on with Invoca, and they started to learn a few things about what were happening on those phone calls. One, their Medicare is probably their highest converting channel, right? Because it's an older demographic. The older demographic really wants that one-on-one -on -one personal touch. They have lots of questions. So they weren't able to see about 20% of these phone conversions because they were happening over the phone. 20%, they had no ability to see that. So with Invoca, they started to pass all of their calls through from their paid search strategy. They were just assuming all calls were good. So let's just dump budget into the ones that were outperforming, right? But as we all know, <laughs> that is a very dangerous assumption. So the team really needed a way to figure out attribution to their paid search programs, understand what was actually really driving a quality call, and then focus on driving more of those. So to solve for this challenge, they basically started tracking calls through Invoca. And they found that the calls were pretty short. A short call, that's probably not even a high intent caller. There is no way that could be a conversion. So they basically started to analyze this data that they got from Invoca 
and try to piece together what a quality collar profile would look like for them. And using that data, they started taking a look at how long the call was, different keywords that were said, and put that together to be able to categorize all of their calls and drive a quality call profile in the system. They were immediately able to adjust their bids to spend and drive more of those. So what was the actual results about that? Better decisions about budget and keyword bids, right? They weren't just throwing money toward all of the calls. So if you take a look at this graph, our whole view changes once you start to add calls in there. They were putting money into that middle campaign and overspending for a really low conversion rate. Once they added that data in there, they actually were able to see that that first campaign to the left was driving a lot more conversion rates. So they were actually able to reallocate some of that media budget and saved about $100,000. Who would like to actually add $100,000 back into your marketing budget? That would be pretty nice, right? So if you guys are curious and learning a little bit more about Signal AI, Invoca, call tracking, we do have a table outside. We're very friendly. Please come up, say hi to us, learn a little bit more about Invoca and call tracking. Talk to us about your paid search challenges. That's it. Crystal. So you've got the lineup, Crystal, Jacob, Dave,